How's everybody doing? It's your boy JT Running Man. We back at the favorite headquarters, 1118 Broadway, and I'm here with Little Rock's very own Sinclair. Sinclair, how you doing, bro? Doing good, bro. Appreciate you for coming back out here. Now this is your second time in Denver, Colorado, right? This is my third. Time third time in Denver, Colorado. Yeah, third so. Time, bro. I think I met you probably your second time when you yeah. was out here. Okay, yeah. and we gonna get into why you was out here a little bit later. Okay. But let's talk about you know as I introduced you from Little Rock, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about where you're from and kind of the sound that you developed, uh, even from being from being where you are okay. or where you're from. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, it's probably known to most people that ain't from here as a little raunchier place. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, uh, my sound kind of just came about just about like being the people that I was around. Okay. And we was more into different shit, more into fashion and shit like okay. that. And, uh, you know, just drinking champagne, just more on the high end type, classic high type, type of shit. Classic yeah, yeah. type of shit. And uh, that's different from where I'm from. Okay. Know, everything's kind of, you know, country based Turned and really raised, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So that's kind of how I just developed my sound, just sticking out, you uh -huh. know what I'm saying? And so is that a little bit, so like you said, it's different out there. Did that make you stand out for, to other people uh, in oh. Little Rock or like stand out compared to other artists that are out there? Oh, most definitely, yeah. I'm yeah. like, you know, totally different yeah. from almost every is there a big uh, Is there a big music scene out there? Uh, it's definitely developing. It's, it's okay. coming. It's definitely bigger than what it was when I was in high school. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, just due to the internet, you know, and the boys, yeah, you know, more accessible. Yeah, it was, you know, they turn up and mm -hmm. whatever. So, yeah, I would say now we definitely have a music scene. Okay. Mm -hmm. How did you originally get involved with making music? Uh, um, what was kind of like the thing that pushed you into saying, okay, this is going to be something that I'm going to take serious? Yeah. Well, I was in college. Uh, I was playing ball. You know what I'm saying? I knew I was too small to go to the league. So I was just trying to figure out, like, you know what I'm saying, what was next. It was kind of on some selfish shit because I always wanted to just be in the spotlight. So yeah, I had to yeah. just figure out, like, what was you I like going to do next? Things, yeah, you know, I'm high high things. Things. Yeah, I'm going to you know, get my brothers in, you know what I'm saying, the spotlight or whatever. Up, yeah. yeah, but when I was a young dude, 15 years old, I used to write songs like for my sister boyfriend group or whatever. Oh, they okay. used to always tell me, like, bro, you dope and rap. Bro. They was already rapping, but yeah, you know, yeah, he was yeah. more involved in the sports. Like sports, I was in high school. Like, yeah, I like that, you know, and that's just important. When you yeah. high school sports is definitely right. Important. That was the shit. Yeah, yeah. so I wasn't I really did. focused on rap, but I always knew I could do it. Uh -huh. like, I never doubted myself when uh -huh. it came to music. So I always thought like, shit, if I don't go to the league, I don't do nothing else. I can fall back on this I'm music. I can put out a project. And so kind of finally kind of reached that point when you were in college. You thinking, okay. You know, I bet I done pretty much took this basketball shit as far as I could take it. Yeah, football shit. Football, 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 yeah. football, I'm sorry, football mm -hmm. shit. As far as I could take it, now what's my next step? Right, and yeah. Then music was what you decided. Did you have any type of like, was it conflicting? Did you have any second guesses? Like, I don't know if I really want to take that step or anything uh, like that? Yeah, because, um, well, I'll, I'll, I kind of like knew it was coming, like mm -hmm. as the season was going on, but I ain't never want to mix, you know, lifestyles. I ain't never want to be no, mm -hmm athlete and be trying to do this rap yeah, shit. That's true, you know that's true, so yeah. I kind of waited till all that calmed down. I was getting ready to graduate. Okay. You know, so I was like, okay, now let me put out a mixtape. We'll put out a project. Waiting right yeah, wait to the right time. Uh -huh. you know what I'm and what was the response like when you put out that first project? Um, uh, it was it was real warm. Yeah. I'm gonna say that. I'm not gonna say it was just big, yeah, but yeah. it was real warm. You had a lot like, of love from the people. Yeah, the from like yeah, it was a different kind of love. Like on some damn bro, like. I didn't really know you could do this, yeah, but yeah. this is pretty, you know, fucking dope. I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, I wasn't expecting yeah, yeah. this type of shit. And to this day, some people don't think I've ever made any better music than my first project. Really? Yeah, but. Sometimes that nostalgia factor starts yeah. to set in and people just mm -hmm. kind of like that. Yeah, but yeah. what do you think about, do you think that's your best body of work or you think you're always progressing? I think I'm always progressing, mm -hmm. you know, just new sounds, trying different things and shit like that. But uh, I do think that was kind of like my most personal body of work. Okay. Yeah, so, We'll get into your, because yeah. I know we got your most recent, we're going to talk about that as well. Let's talk about, you say you're a little bit different than the other people out in Little Rock. What are some of your musical influences or inspirations? Uh, well, of course, you know, the, the big homies, the Wizzes and okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. and things like that. Shout but, out Wiz and Curtis. Yeah, shout out to Wiz and Spit, but um, well, I'm going to just be honest, bro. Like, I grew up in the South, but just coming up. I was more on the East Coast wave of music. Yeah, like, you yeah, know I what I'm saying? Like, I didn't really get hip to the South shit until I got older. Mm -hmm. Like, you know 
I'm saying? Being able to just understand mm -hmm. actually what I was. So I always just had a, like a more wavier stance on Kind of like, just the hot, the hot spitters. And, yeah. Because I kind of feel you like, because I, well, we from Denver. So a lot of people from this city are real West Coast. Like, mm -hmm. you know, Tupac, Snoop Dogg, all right. that shit. You know, that's where they, most of their cousins from California, that's where they resonate. But I felt always, you know, me and my dudes, we always resonate more with like Biggie Smalls and the whole East Coast movement. Like Red Man is my favorite rapper of all yeah. time, you know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. going back to going back there. But so I kind of understand what you're saying. But, you know, I told you guys before, my father's actually from Mississippi, which is right across the bridge from oh, the right. yeah. yeah, so uh, I kind of got tapped into his music a little bit. And that's when I started to figure out about the Southern style. And they got two different styles. But the Southern style, I, I would almost say is a little bit more articulate and they got I wouldn't say they have more to prove but they they have a better way of expressing themselves I feel like because you, when you think about East Coast music it's kind of like one box mm -hmm. and then Southern music is kind of like all across the board you know you can right. kind of do whatever you want with that type of thing yeah. do you try to make a kind of East Coasty type of sound of music or is you trying to make like a your own sound and try to bring some of that Southern flavor into it well in the beginning I did uh I was more so just on like trying to just kill East Coast type beats until like my big so you can rap. Yeah, just That's trying to let niggas know I can rap, you know. But then my big homies had to sit me down, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you got to really start like giving people where we at. Like, mm -hmm. the culture, like, it sounds good what you're doing, mm -hmm. but it's not really just around here now. And that's why people not really, because people weren't grabbing on to mm -hmm. it. Because it mean, it just sound like some, you know, some dope hip hop yeah, shit, yeah, but it yeah. wasn't. What like, they was looking for. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So when I just started talking to my producers and sitting down with them and just, you know, really just focusing on the music more. And that just came with more projects. I, I want this one to be with different. You know, I want to tap in a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And it just got better. And okay. I started crafting it a little bit more. When you when you think people listen to your music, do you think that they can hear Lil Rock or do you think they just listen to Sinclair? I think from New Trap City on, you can hear Lil Rock. Okay. Before then, you'd probably be like, I don't know where bro from. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. My, can't put my finger on yeah, it. Yeah, but now. from my first album on, I think you can probably tell. Like, yeah, he from okay. Yeah. So let's talk about New Trap City. Yeah. This is your most recent full body of work, right? Yep. You able mm -hmm. to find it on all platforms or working All platforms. Everywhere. I just want to see. I'll make sure y'all go check that yeah. out. Sinclair, New Trap City is out, right? New Trap City, now. yep. Uh, let's talk about the idea behind the project and the process and kind of how it came about. Um, well, it was time for me to do, to put out something big again, because I had just been, I had came off a small EP I did, Player Made Sensei, that's also out too. Okay, yeah, that shit out too. But uh, just sitting around and, you know, my bros was like, bro, it's time to like, you know, give them another few minutes, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but we didn't want to do it the same way. We didn't want to just be so trapped in the hip hop shit so much time. We, uh, we can prove to niggas that we can rap. Like, mm -hmm. let's really just- They already know that about yeah, you. Let's yeah, let's give them the sauce. Let's like yeah. really let them know where we coming from mm -hmm. and shit, so. Uh, get on kind of more that fashion type shit. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Just get more aggressive, you know, mm -hmm. put some more in your face type music. Okay. So, uh, I was putting beats together and uh, I had got introduced to an artist named Babyface Ray out of Detroit. He okay. doing his thing, he popping. And, uh, like I was, you know, advised like kind of put him on the track. Okay. So I was able to get him on the verse, uh, and the product just came out. It, it came out great because I was. It was a special time because I was really living what was going on. Okay. You know, so I was really it was like, authentic. yeah, you hear that and yeah. Then. I was really like touching my first like real dollars. Like this yeah. is a young man. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Really like not doing shit how Mama want me to You're do not it. Not capping no more. Yeah, ain't no cap. Yeah, it's like yeah, really yeah, like yeah. ain't really having shit. So. Yeah, it was just mm -hmm. an authentic piece of work and everybody who was around me was like was there to kind of like to see it happen. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And what has the response been from that project compared to your first project? Yeah, hey, man, it's been crazy. Okay. Like, yeah, I didn't even know this many people who are around. Like yes. <laughs> right on the album, like like you get love from everywhere. And I think it was just, you know, shout out to everybody that was just helping me promote it. Uh -huh. like, I got a lot of love in just how I pushed it. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I didn't just give it to them all at once. Marketing is the right way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, pay a lot of money for that baby face verse. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but, they, but shout out baby yeah, face. Shout out to baby face Ray. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it, bro. And, uh, but yeah, great response. I've been doing shows and shit. Uh -huh. you know okay, yeah, yeah. Like, so I know, well, so let's jump into why you came out here the last time you was here, because I know the last time you was here was for the speakers and sneakers event, or sneakers, sneakers tour. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Which I'm sure. actually rocking a little piece of the gear right now, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So y'all got three cities on there. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Mississippi. Uh, what, what was it? Where was it in Mississippi? Jackson, Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson, Mississippi. Little Rock, Arkansas, yeah. and then Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado. At this boutique right here, favorite boutique. boutique. And I just want to say thank y'all for choosing this spot know. and coming through yeah. and, and showing love Appreciate like that. You. What made you guys choose those cities and, and put that whole thing together? Well, uh, my manager, he, you know what I'm saying, he went to school at Jackson State. Okay, you know okay. Saying? You know, that's like country cousin shit. That he kind of plugged in. Out there, there, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, There's a lot of artists out there doing anything, so we was able to kind of, you know, conspire and get that plugged together. And then the first time we actually came to Denver, we just came to really just, shit. Yeah, so I'm delete, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got a partner. <laughs> yeah, okay. I got a partner out here that do beats or whatever, but, you know what I'm saying, we had went to Shoe Boutique. Okay. Vice, as a matter of yeah, fact. Yeah, Vice. It was just like, uh, y'all got some music y'all want to play? We like, shit, yeah, yeah, we got some music we want to play. So shit, we played the album for them, you know what I'm saying? And they was like, or whatever, so they was like, man, y'all should go down the street, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, play with some people else. So we went to Bait, uh, Bait Shoe Store, right. and they played it in the yeah. store, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So we was like, you know, Denver is where it's so we don't get love like that, but Denver's the first. Place, yeah, yeah. You know, not even at home like that, yeah, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's hard to get love. Yeah. But Denver people are usually, well, more recently they've kind of gotten a little bit more angry just because we've had so many people move out here. But Denver people are generally pretty nice people. Yeah. We ain't got a whole lot of problems. So we got, you know, and we smoke weed a lot. So we're yeah. generally pretty happy. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So once we seen the music getting played in the store, we were like, yeah, we definitely mm-hmm. come, come back out here. And then y'all made the second trip. Y'all came back out here. Yeah. You brought a couple artists with you. Mm-hmm. My uh, boy, No ID. And then I, uh, I remember No ID. What was the other dude's name? The last uh, dude. I Jay Tizzle. Jay Tizzle. I should have known that. My name is yeah. JT. I should have known this nigga named Jay Tizzle. It's a light skin thing. Yep. Nice <laughs> thing. <laughs> so that shit was cool, man. It was cool. We was kicking it. We was vibing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to perform y'all show. Yeah. Y'all got to perform y'all, um, y'all sets and everything like yeah. that. Are we going to see another Sneakers and Speakers event soon? Most definitely. Yeah, was good. another tour. You guys think about getting more artists or possibly more cities? Yeah, we can't really. You know, Talk, I, yeah, I, I know half of the guys ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, but yeah, it's definitely gonna be another species. Okay, for sure. Yeah. So then let's wrap it up, man. What, let me talk about what can we expect from Sinclair in 2019. What kind of new projects can we expect? What can we expect to see from you? Oh uh, yeah, it's a lot more shit coming. Yeah. It was actually my plan to like drop some every month. Okay, but you know, the business is changing. Get caught up like that. Yeah, yeah every other month I plan on you know some projects or whatever. I just dropped a project in April called Holy Water. Holy Water. Get that. All you know platforms. Go get that. Holy Water. Go get that. New Trap get City. That. What was the third one? Um, Three days in LA. Three I days dropped in that LA. in January. You know what I'm saying? So all, all this year, this new music, like, I'm giving y'all the game. Like, so. so y'all already know there's plenty of music for y'all to listen to to hold you over for right now until Sinclair dropped that next body of work. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. So Sinclair, I want to say thank you for coming back to Denver, sure, man. Thank you for stopping back by the shop. It's all good, Appreciate bro. you coming through. Appreciate you having me. It's a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. Thank you. Let me take a marriage. You can't play me like I'm average. Check the record. When you come with that bag, you got leverage. Going hard with my effort.